guys! Welcome to Anusha's Science Lab. Today, we are going to do an eruption volcano. Let's get started with the ingredients. We have warm water, flour, apple cider vinegar or white vinegar, dishwashing liquid, baking soda, a food color of any of your choice, a plastic bottle, two tablespoon, one tablespoon, scissor, tape, some paint, some long strips of paper. You can even use newspaper for this. Some of these paper to make like balls. So let's start. So let's take the scissors and let's cut the bottle. Now we have to hold it here. We have to get the tape. So we have to stick like half to the bottle and half to this cardboard. So now that it's all stable, let's begin with the balls. So we could, we have to take the newspaper, we have to crumble it up. You can make about 10 pieces. Now that the paper balls are ready, let's stick them at the bottom of the bottle. balls together we are wide at the bottom then at the top we are gonna make a, a paste to make this paper stick on there so first you're supposed to add a little bit of water mix it with a spoon you're supposed to add the water little by little As thick as a pancake batter. Now that the paste is ready, we are going to dip this paste onto this paper. This is the same way you have to do for all of them.
now that we made our cone-shaped volcano, we it's so wet that we need to let it dry over the night. See you tomorrow. So now that the erupting volcano is completely dry, let's start to paint it. We are going to paint the top brown, but when it gets down, we are going to paint it black for the ash. So let's get started. Now that we covered all the area of the of the volcano, now we're going to paint orange color erupting from the volcano. Mm -hmm. Volcano is dry. Let's start the experiment. So, so when the volcano is not erupting, the magma remains in the chamber. So the first ingredient we're going to do is dishwashing liquid. Four tablespoons. So totally I have two tablespoon, but we need to add four tablespoon. The next ingredient is warm water. Four tablespoons. The next ingredient is vinegar. Six tablespoons. The next ingredient is food coloring. If you have a powder food coloring, you can add some water in it. You can use orange or red food coloring to make it realistic or colorful. So now we're going to add five to six tablespoons of baking soda. So take your cameras ready to capture the volcano which is about to explode. Let's get started. So now I'm gonna add baking soda. Thank you. 
you can see that the lava runs out from the crater and spills along the sides of the cone. This happens because the underground pressure increases. The magma is pushed out through the crater as lava. So you can add more. Lava has tiny bubbles of carbon dioxide in it too. When it cools and sets hard, the bubbles are trapped. If you want more frothy, you can add more vinegar. And baking soda.